Hey guys, welcome and or welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing um, a budget <laughs> again. We are going to be doing the income tax um, budget. I kind of like to do it a little ahead of time so that I know exactly where the money is going to go whenever I get it instead of going out and just splurging and shopping and somebody needs to go to the graduation but um, a huge chunk of the graduation got paid off by their dad which well by my daughter's dad so that actually helped a lot and so um, with that being said I was able to put more towards debt which I need to do a debt update and then um, also for the um, income tax I need to redo I need to pay off thing. I need to pay off debt for, for sure, but I need to redo the girls or the girls room to get it ready for my son to go in there. Um, so little things are actually changing and I'm actually kind of excited about it. So other than that, if y'all are new here, thank y'all so much for joining me. I am a cash budgeter. I do paper budget. I don't, I try to do the electronic budget that did not work for me. I tried to do it on my phone and it was like, I was more frustrated than anything. So, um, I am I'm a mother of three. Um, I have an 18, 17, and a seven-year-old, and I am trying to just figure out life. <laughs> I'm I am um, almost 40, so I'm at the point to where in my 40s I want to be able to live life more than I have before. So that's what I'm. That's my goal is to live life in my 40s. All right, so we are going to push these flowers out the way a little bit. And I need to do a check-in, so I will be doing a check-in for for my budget. Um, I'm actually competing against, or losing, I'm not going to say I'm competing, I am losing against Budget Treasure. She is tearing me up right now, and I I, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have told her I said that I was going to beat her because she is like, for real, letting me have it, okay? For my income tax, I have no idea how much I'm going to get. This is the last year I'm able to claim my daughter being 18. Um, so I'm not 100% sure she's working. So she will be filing taxes next year for herself. So usually each year what I always get is like a good 8,000, 9,000-ish um, this year with them trying to raise taxes. Um, I have, I think that I'm probably going to get more. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do 5,000. So I know, um, I know for sure I will get the five thousand back, even um, with the raise. So five thousand is the amount that we are going to budget. All right. So this is going to be simple and quick. I know that where my five thousand actually goes. What I tried to do is I tried to make my life a lot easier. Um, me having six people in my household, um, the electricity is always going. The internet is always a bill that has to be paid. The car insurance is always something that we try we have to do, and that it's just something that we've you know we are doing a lot. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to get my um, electricity my electricity bill and compare them each month to see how much money I spent the previous year and um, put a large lump sum towards it. Usually um, I do 200, it used to be $200 each month would go towards the electricity bill and we would kind of have a little bit to, uh, we would, it would, I would make the payment in February and then it would last all the way up until December. And then, you know, we would, we would pay, you know, December's payment or whatever. But I kind of like not having to have any bills December, um, no, yeah, November, December, and January. So with us trying to be uh, months ahead, the paying the electricity um, ahead of time and then, put, you know, making small payments throughout the year so that we can be ahead for the, the last three months actually really helps. So whenever we had did the 2000 um, this year, this past year, we had moved in. Um, or I had moved out of my apartment in April, moved into my mom's one bedroom until June, moved here at the end of June. So we had what, six months in this, um, this apartment. And each month we're realizing that the electricity is like $300. Even 
even though it was summer whenever we moved in and then the winter because it got cold or whatever it's like three hundred dollars on the off season so it's like even with us not using the ac or whatever the situation is we are still at 300 so what i decided is that i'm still going to put the 200 each month towards it but i think i want to do 250. so 250 times 12 is coming out to the 3000 and if i leave it at 3000 and actually do the 3000 towards electricity then what i can do is continue making payments each month so our monthly payment um say february's um, electricity bill comes out to um 310 dollars then it would be the 310 minus 250 that would be a bill of 60 dollars that i would pay in february each month so i would just pay anything over the 250 and i've decided that if there is a month where we don't have to pay anything towards electricity um and then we put you know instead of the 250 say it's maybe 200 then we'll just do the 50 dollars to equal up to 50 to um 250 to make sure that the 250 is being made each month so um i did talk to my mom about that and she's you know on board with the whatever so if there's like a month that she you know wants to pay i could let we could you know discuss 250 that already applied to it what is you know what's the difference or you know make sure that minimum 250 is each month and that's what, what's going to help so three thousand is going to be made towards the um out of the, the five thousand with the um electricity bill for some reason we can't pay all three thousand at one time i think we can only pay like a thousand like 1200 i think it's like 1200 every you know payment whatever and um i think you have to pay like a service fee of like two dollars and thirty cents each time so it's going to be like a little bit more than that but it's still i'm that's the minimum amount that's going to go toward the electricity bill then um the next thing was the internet so our internet um is it was um 67 um a month so times 12 it comes out to 804 dollars but what i've decided is that um i was the Electricity bill actually dropped nine dollars. So sixty-seven divided by nine. Sixty-seven minus nine dollars is fifty-eight times twelve is six ninety-six. So I, I was thinking that if I were to just do seven hundred dollars towards the internet bill, then we would have this amount paid. But if for some reason it goes up, whatever is over the six whatever is over what did we say? The fifty-eight dollars. Um And this one is 250 so whatever is over the 58 then we would make sure that we pay all right and then our my phone bill so for myself my phone bill is sixty dollars and that's what i want to budget so 60 times 12 is 720 anything over 60 that's what i'm going to pay towards my electricity bill so I pay my mom's um, electricity phone bill and I pay my mom's phone bill of $30 and my daughter um, is, has joined onto my plan and I haven't actually asked her for money. She's in high school, she's working, whatever. So her money goes to like, you know, whatever. So I'm going to just pay the difference. And right now it's, I think it's at 121. So I'm just going to leave it at that. So I'm going to put this amount to pay half of the, the bill or whatever. If something happens, you know, I can always pay this amount with one of my um, side hustles, or whatever, again, to pay the rest of the, the the money but it's not that big of a deal so that's what i'm gonna put towards this so we so far have five thousand minus the three thousand minus the seven hundred minus 720 is leaving us five hundred and eighty dollars so with the five hundred and eighty um i plan on putting it towards debt with the income tax if i do get more um you know by all means, thank you. You know, but I know for sure that I will get at least the five thousand. And then, um, if I get over like five thousand, I'm just gonna have like a list of things here that I plan on putting it towards. Um, but for sure, I'm gonna put the five thousand, the five hundred and eighty towards um, debt. And with me saving this money for electricity, this actually um, helps a lot. It gets puts more money. These, you know, these things actually help a lot with putting more money in my pocket throughout the year instead of trying to spend all my income tax and trying to, you know, go splurge and go buy things that I just ne don't need. I do not need to go on a cruise. I do not need to go, you know, 
travel to go see the capitals. I do not need to go to Disney World or to a beach or, you know, whatever. I do not need that. I also don't need to go buy a whole wardrobe of clothes and I don't need, you know what I'm saying? So those, these are the things that I actually need first. And I'd rather have my everyday expenses minimal or not even minimal, just paid to where I don't have to struggle each month to pay, you know, a $300 electricity bill whenever I could only pay, I only have $60 towards the electricity bill, it's a lot better for me. And then if I do have more income, which I do have bonuses and I do have side hustles and I do have the option of getting a, you know, different things, I understand that I can actually make more money in the, in the month and, um, you know, put pay towards, you know, the bills or put it towards my wants or whatever the situation is, it actually helps a lot more knowing that my electricity, my internet, my phone, and some of my debt is paid off. The other thing that I was um, wanting to put was, again, towards my bills, which would be rent. So my rent um, is 1600 and my mom is paying her side of the rent and she actually started paying, or she's actually, I feel like she's paying like 700 and I'm paying 1000 1085 And I want that to be more to where I don't have to pay so much towards the, um, to rent each month. I don't want to pay a thousand dollars towards rent. I want to pay less. And I think she's going to be doing this too, is that what we're going to do is the way we did the electricity and the internet or whatever, we're just going to pay a, a small portion towards it. So, um, even if I were to put $1,200 towards it, it would be $900 for me for rent each month. If I were to pay 2,400, you know, $800 for me to pay for rent and that additional 200 I would have in my pocket each month to go towards, I don't, you know, gas or traveling or, you know, something like that. And I would be able to make more of like, oh, this check, I want to have $30 more or something. I could just work overtime or whatever the situation is and not have to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 1200 um, here and just put that And just put that I'm gonna be one hundred dollars. I might actually put more, but you know, I'm not one hundred percent sure. All right, and then the and the other thing that I wanted to do was for the furniture. So right now, I I still have roughly six hundred dollars. To put um, six hundred dollars to put towards the furniture to pay off what I have right now. But once I pay this off, I'm gonna be doing monthly payments to um, uh, to have the like the the kids' beds. I'm gonna get them new beds, and I'm also gonna get couches and recliners. So um, to do that, I want to have this paid off. So um, as of right now, I feel like that that's kind of pushing it. I don't really know how much I I am gonna get. I also have a bonus coming up. So some of that bonus is actually gonna go towards this already. So there might be actually some of the stuff marked out. Um, and then I wanted to do, um, I'm just gonna put her name here. Um, my daughter, so right now we still have like pictures and you know other things that we wanna do, but with her moving out and getting a vehicle, I planned on doing like a thousand dollars towards her more than likely won't come out of the income tax but that is a big expense so I figured if I have it I'm going to put that towards her and then um the kids I like to buy them some outfits I'm just gonna put clothes because I don't know um oh kids clothes here y'all and I'm just gonna put 200 but yeah so this is the um amount that I have I put 5,000 and I went way over but this is for the 5,000 here So we're gonna budget because I feel like that's what I want to get and this right here is just like an extra if I do get more than that because they're they're bringing the um they're by the 29th of January they're supposed to tell you if they're going to be paying you more supposedly right now it's two thousand dollars each kid for income tax but they're going to be moving it up her child is supposed to be going up to three thousand or three thousand six hundred so they don't know if it's one or the other but even then three thousand six hundred times oops so if it is three thousand six hundred i would be getting ten thousand eight hundred back and then if it is the three thousand times three 
it would be 9,000 back. So we don't know um, what, you know, what, what they plan on doing, but I guarantee you that some, most of this is going to be going towards my monthly bills that I would be having. And let's put furniture here. Furniture. And then um, my daughter needs that my, everybody needs a vehicle. So I haven't actually put money towards any vehicles, but um, suppose I'm trying to get three vehicles. We'll, we'll see how that works. But furniture, whatever we have over, once you pay this, it's going to go towards furniture. But let's sum it up. So 3,000 plus 700 plus 720 plus 580. We already knew that was 5,000. That was 5,000. Can you all see? And then plus the one. The 1,200 plus the 600 plus the 1,000 plus 200. So this right here already comes out to 8,000. So if whatever, if we do get the 9,000 or if I do get the 10,000, then I'm going to put everything else towards the furniture. I don't really splurge with my income tax. Most times I was paying off debt, like all of it was going towards debt and I was becoming debt free. And I didn't want, you know, to, I, I was just paying off like, you know, everything that I had. And then whenever I got older, I realized that I'm always going to have debt because I wasn't doing debt right. And so now me trying to pay it off and me understanding debt and me understanding my credit cards and stuff like that, I know how to actually use it. I don't have as much debt, personal debt, <laughs> but medical debt, yo, personal debt. I don't have that much debt that I need to pay off. Everything else is like things that should have been removed and I'm fighting for that to be removed because it got sold to another person or something like that. So that's this is what I have so hopefully this works out the way it should work out um two three four five six seven eight nine one twelve hundred oh wait plus six hundred plus two hundred okay so that does equal out that does equal out to three thousand all right and then that that's the only thing that i have that um i feel i need to put like things to sometimes um i would put things towards like sinking funds and then throughout the time like before if something happened i was taking money out of the sinking funds and taking putting it into like a bill or something and so now this time i'm just gonna put it towards bills i i should put something towards like my high yield savings account but i already hit those every check and every set, um, side hustle so I kind of want my bills to, you know, the monthly bills that I don't want to pay, basically. I, I I probably want those to be, you know, more of the bills that I'm actually paying. And speaking of, I actually wanted to look to see what other bills I would I want to get rid of besides. And then with the car wash, I kind of thought doing a car wash and my subscriptions. But like HBO, I'm getting rid of. Crunch, I'm getting rid of in May. Disney Hulu, is, I'm, I'm going to go up. And Peacock, I'm going to go up. So it's not going to be this amount anymore. Um, my son, he's probably going to go back into the learning tree. But the money I'm saving each month, he's going to, you know, it's going to be covering that. So I'm not really worried about that. If I were to do it, he's going to be there March, April, May. So 255 times 3. So I'm going to put learning tree. And that would be 765, which is the 255 times 3. And then I already have the phone. The phone went up. Electricity, car insurance. Um, I keep saying I'm going to change that. I keep looking around, not liking what I see. Um, my Capital One, but. And if I do car wash, car wash would be 35 times 12. That's 420, but do I even... I mean, I do go to the car wash all the time, but I don't. Um, I guess you could put it. <clears throat> I mean, little saves are what's more important. 420, and that's the 35. Yeah, I guess because, um, let's see. So this one wouldn't be, if I put something towards my head, we won't have to, this one would be 985. 
can see a color in the screen. $9.85 towards rent. Um, no longer gonna have the furniture bill. Um, no longer gonna have the internet bill. The insurance would be the $140 unless it goes up. The electricity would roughly be around $50 if it stays around $300. Student loans are $65. My phone bill would drop to $60. Then I'll have that crappy card. And then um, the 502 would be on there. The learning tree of the 255 would be paid. Um, car wash of 35 would be paid. And if I leave these the way they are, then 299, 299, 1298. Crunch is, is about to be gone. HBO Max is about to be gone. And then Canva, 1399. So my monthly expenses would be $1,834.95 versus $2,606.45. So $2,606 oh minus 45. So it would each... No. Hold on, is that wrong? Let's see. All right, so... So this is wrong. This is showing me $3,007.45, and this is $2,600. I was like, how am I only saving $77? <laughs> so I had, I think I didn't add this and this um, on here. But, all right, so total $3,007.45. And then, what did I say the other one was? Ah, uh, so 985, 985. I wouldn't be paying furniture, no internet, 140, no um, 50 for the electricity, 65, 60, 502. This, I wouldn't be paying for learning tree, the car wash. $1,868.45 is what I would be paying. And then on here, the way I would track it is if I'm no longer making the payments towards that, um, I think I'm just going to color it in um, or draw a line. Yeah, color it in and then draw a line through it. And then whenever I'm paying the bills, whatever, this is already paid and this is paid and then this is not paid because he, he doesn't go there and that's already paid. Okay, so um, yeah, this would get X whatever of the what I pay so that's a huge difference one thousand eight hundred six one thousand eight hundred sixty eight dollars and forty five cents and then three zero zero seven forty five so I'll be saving a thousand one hundred and thirty nine dollars a month if I pay the income tax the bills with my income tax the way I choose to do so that actually helps a lot to actually visually see that actually would be nice to have especially with all the expenses that I have coming up um, you know, this next year, whatever, and things just keep changing. I don't want to pay it off and then something happened and I'm not able to, you know, continue with going like to the cruise. Like something happens and I can't go to the cruise. I just wasted all the money and I'm struggling every month to make sure it ends me or whatever. And, you know, I would probably have to do less work each month because of that. So that actually helps a lot. I also have a, um, a surgery. Yeah. If y'all are still here, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I feel like I was everywhere in this video, but I am going to get my life together. Um, so thank y'all so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Bye, guys.